Hey guys, back out in the shop. Um, today we've got uh, a little bit of free time while we're waiting on our parts for one of our other builds. Um, so we're going to actually get into the Buster, our Fox body. This is my own personal vehicle. Uh, it's been sitting for a few months now while we do some things around here. And up until this point, I have just been uh, taking pictures of this build. I wasn't really too sure of the YouTube thing um, or videos all in general, but I've learned a little bit since then. And um, I think we're going to finish this one out on the channel. Uh, it's pretty rough. I'll throw up some pictures, hopefully. Um, if not, you can go to my Facebook page. Um, uh, BPB Resto and uh, go ahead and give that page a like and there's probably about 30 pictures or so on there you can see of it um, anyway so yeah we're gonna set up the tripod and uh, we're gonna have to take the window out uh, we started sanding on the top all the body work up from the bottom you know all the way up to the top is done and I started sanding in the top and found um, some pretty nasty rust up there. So we're going to go ahead and pull the window and do the spot up there. We don't want to leave any of that. Hey, this is our uh, Project Fox body. Um, it got the name Buster because that's what it said on the window when we picked it up. And after checking it out, it's busted. This whole thing was rotted completely. Um, so it, the name Buster just stuck. So this thing has got new floor pans, both sides, new cross brace here for the seats. Um, the hole underneath was done in pour 15. Um, it got subframe connectors. Um, all new suspension, everything cleaned up. New brake lines, fuel lines, uh, tubular stuff up front. It's got a lot of goodies. Um, the front uh, is actually already sprayed. We went with uh, Calypso Green. So, hopefully, we can get this window pulled. Here's that rust. You can see this side. Yeah. It's got to be fixed right, guys. We'll take a look at this side. That's real bad. All that down in there, that's all got to be cut out and done right. We'll cut it out and bend some pieces and uh, weld it all up. Hopefully that's the only spot we find. I don't really see any more bubbles on the top. But everything else is done up to this point. Uh, let's set up the tripod and we'll take our welding wire, just a standard piece of welding wire, a pick, and we'll pick a hole in the side of our window here in the channel, run that welding wire through, hook our vice grips to it, and try to fish it around there. And hopefully I can do it by myself. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna just gently apply a little heat here with our propane torch to the outside of the uh, window just to kind of heat up and loosen up this glue a little bit. And then we'll poke our pick right through here 
and get a spot to start our wire, our welding wire, get it through and then we'll use that and if you break it, just grab another piece. It's a whole lot cheaper than paying somebody else to do it. Just uh, keep running, heating this up and running it around there and eventually you'll work your way out and you'll have this window right on out. Alright guys, windows out, I uh, hope you was able to see all that, um, it went really smooth, broke the wire maybe three or four times, but like I said, that's a whole lot cheaper than paying somebody. Um, I did not plan on reusing the window, it had a lot of pits and stuff in it, I did not want to use it at all, so um, if I was going to reuse it, I probably would not have done that myself, and I definitely am not going to be reinstalling my own. I'll leave that to the professionals. As cheap as you can get it done now, it's not really worth the effort for me to do it. But this is what we found after the windows out. You can see somebody's tried to actually fill it. Yeah, you can see there, they got a big old club of Bondo in there. and I've peeled it away a little bit, but it's definitely uh, more rot. Luckily, it's not through to anything else. It's just the this outside piece here. Um, the other side is pretty close to the same. Not quite as bad, but I'm sure once I grind it a little bit, it will probably look worse. All right, we're going to uh, set up the tripod and go ahead and start sanding all this here so we can see exactly how big this is that we need to cut out. And same on that side, sand it a little bit bigger, grind it with our three inch grinder. And um, once we see how big it is, then we'll go ahead and cut it out and proceed to make new pieces. So let's set the tripod up. All right, so as always, it's a little bit worse than you always thought. That's actually a big old hole full of Bondo. So we'll cut all that out along with that side. Surprisingly, the rest of the channel's all good. Um, it's all nice. Um, all this across here seems to be nice. So I'll go ahead and sand all the rest of that before I put my welder up, because you never know. But um, yeah, I'll set this back up and We'll start cutting that and making some pieces. All right, guys, after 20 or 30 minutes or so, we've been cutting at it. We got our pieces all cut out and we'll save these pieces and um, use those kind of as a template to make our new ones. And uh, the other side is basically about the same. It's uh, not too bad. We'll clean all that up and weld that up a little bit nicer. Put some uh, weld through primer in there and make some new pieces. Weld all that back up. And uh, you guys will catch that in the next video. 
And uh, if you feel like you're learning anything, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, that's all we got of the Buster today, guys. Um, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell, so you get the videos as soon as I post them. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do vlogs as often as I can, maybe, you know, daily or every couple of days. Um, I have already done quite a few videos of the other builds, but I'm not quite ready to post those videos yet. I'm actually going to upload the Fox stuff first. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.